Checking your blood sugar level has a lot to do with the medications you're on, how tightly controlled you are, any other variable factors. If you're pregnant and you're checking your sugars to make sure that baby comes out as healthy as possible, you probably need to be checking five, six, seven times a day. If you're on an insulin pump, and you're having some problems with your blood sugar, and perhaps you're still trying to get the doses uh, uh, established, you might need to check, you would, rec it would be recommend that you check your sugars three, four, five, six times a day. Keep in mind that with an insulin pump, you're getting a continuous infusion of insulin. If for some reason your blood sugar should drop, and you should pass, you could pass out from that. If your blood sugar gets too low and you don't recognize it and don't seek treatment, your sugar can drop. As long as that syringe has insulin in it, that insulin pump is going to continue to pump insulin. So that is one of the, one of the, the sidebars that you need to be aware of with an insulin pump. If you take an injection of insulin, again, you want to check your sugar two, three times, sometimes four times a day, especially when you're changing doses, when maybe your activity is changing, you're trying new foods and stuff, just to make sure you still have the right dose. The good, if there's any, the good thing about if you take an injection of insulin, it's going to wear off. If you overestimate, you don't have to deal with this for, for hours and hours. If you overguesstimate on your quick acting insulin or your, your, uh, your analog insulin, it's gone within an hour or two. The NPH insulin, maybe six or eight hours, it's, it's gone. So uh, again, if you take the wrong dose, you don't have a, a real long time to deal with it. So again, check your blood sugars based on the medications you're taking. Usually people on pills will check maybe once a day, sometimes twice, again, until they get, their self, get themselves a little more stable. Once you're kind of on cruise control and you're, you, you understand what your carbohydrates are and you're being more consistent with that, a lot of this has to do with consistency, eating the same amount of carbohydrates in each meal, eating, having the same activity level every day. So again, you're not making a lot of changes. You don't have to check your sugars quite as often. But again, check with your healthcare professional, see what they recommend. Another thing you might want to check is how many strips that your insurance will provide. That has a lot to do with it too. If, you, if your insurance will only give you one vol every month, then you're going to have to have a little different schedule than if you can get limitless numbers.